All right, guys. Today we will be hitting chest. Um, I'm using my mic this time because some of you guys have been telling me that it could improve my video quality. So just let me know if you like this better or just me talking to my phone better. But anyways, like I said, we are hitting chest, and like always, we're gonna start with three warm sets of some chest press. Again, just going light, easy reps, warming our chest up a little bit here. So gonna do eight nice easy reps here. And then we're going to do three warm sets. So first warm set, here we go. All right, and we are done again. I don't know if this mic sounds very good or not. I have tried it one time before when I was in the actual gym because I couldn't work out at my house. So I don't know. Should I do this from now on or should I just keep talking to my phone? Again, let me guys know. I'd really appreciate it. But for today, I'm going to try it like this and maybe a couple days if I don't get much feedback. So otherwise, I'll switch back to it if you guys obviously don't like it. But for now, hopefully it could improve my videos. So, anyways, you got two more warm sets of the chest press left. I am feeling pretty good today, so hopefully we can make this a good workout. Chest hasn't been going good for us the past couple of weeks, if you have been watching me, but it is getting better. So, let's go to the second warm set of the chest press, and let's get it. All right, second warm up set of chest press. Moved it up just one um, clip, so I'm going to do just six nice easy reps. Like always, so second warm set, here we go. All right, second warm set done. We got one more left. We're going to be using our working weight for the last warm set here. Just going to do four easy reps. Hopefully, again, we'll be able to do better than last time. I think at least just through this chest today, especially on chest press, I'm just going to be looking at the first one or like two, two, three, maybe four sets because after that, then I really start getting fatigued and my reps start dropping. So I think what's happening is I am getting stronger, but it's just on that first set. And now since I'm pushing more weight for more reps, it's fatiguing me more, which is leading me to drop reps in the set. So again, I think we're going to do this weight. I think it's like 80 for our working weight. And we might just move it down to, um, I move it up to 90 next time. Again, just to not get as much fatigue and keep our reps in that higher range. So one more warm set left using our working weight. Let's go. All right, last warm up set. Then we'll get into the workout. Using our working weight now, gonna do four nice easy reps here. And then, like I said, we'll go on to the working set. So here we go. And we are done. So yeah. I like every chest workout. I'm going to be doing eight sets of this chest press, eight sets of um, pec flies, and then eight sets of some incline bench. I'm also just considering, I think I said this last time, instead of doing eight sets of this, because it is very fatiguing, to maybe do eight sets of this, eight sets of like some kind of dumbbell bench, eight sets of incline bench, or four sets, my bad, four sets of this, four sets of flat bench, incline bench, and then four sets of... Um, cable or pec flies just for the again the fatigue but for now we're still going to stick with eight sets doing this we're going to try our hardest like every single workout so let's go to the first working set of this chest press and let's try our hardest let's make this a great workout all right set one of chest press again no matter what reps we get let's just try our hardest keep our strict form and not try to cheat ourselves so Set to one chest press of the eight sets we'll be doing. So here we go, first set.
13 reps. So this mic, I might try moving this mic a little bit. Kind of got in my way there, but it's 13 reps. Same reps as last time, so I'd say it's a pretty good starting point. Once again, I'm thinking I do just need to up the weight, and that's why my reps have been dropping so much lately. Because on the first set, I have been getting the same amount of reps, but then they've just been dropping quickly. But I think that's because I'm trying so hard to just pinch that 14th one out, but I just can't get it. And it's giving me that fatigue for me to drop those reps down. So, again, I think next time I'll definitely move to 90 pounds and it'll be a lot, lot easier. So, it'll also probably not fatigue me. Or if I lower it to, or up it to 90, it probably won't guys give me as much fatigue when I go into those um, pec flies or the incline bench because, again, I'm doing less reps. So, yeah, hopefully, again, we'll just keep trying our hardest. We get 13 reps, so it is a pretty good start. But, um, yeah, let's keep going. Let's go to set two of this um, um, chest press. All right, set two of chest press. Literally, I don't just spill water in my mic. We're very close there, so good thing that didn't happen. But set two of this chest press, again, Continue going the hardest. Let's go. Come on. All right. 12 reps that time. Again, I feel like we almost got that 13th one out, but whew, let's keep going. Again, like what I'm talking about earlier is when I can't get that 12th one, but then I try to get that 13th one out and I can't get it. And when I try doing that, it just gives me more fatigue. And then that's why I'm thinking my reps drop faster, even though I'm like getting stronger. If that if you that makes sense to you. So otherwise I think right now we're doing pretty good. We're trying our hardest. Again, let me know what you guys think about this mic. If it's a yes for me to keep it or no. But anyways, we'll keep going. Um set three of this. Chest press, chest is feeling pretty nice after those two sets. So, yeah, let's keep going our hardest, trying our best. Set three of chest press. All right, set three chest press now. Let's keep going in, going our best, or going our hardest. Again, definitely, I feel like today I am trying to get more of a strict form on this too, so... Not trying to slouch my back or anything like that. But anyway, set three of this chest press. Let's go. Come on. All right. 11 reps. Again, last time we did get 12 on the third one, but I think it's because I am trying to just push harder and get those last four reps out. But then I'm getting halfway and I just can't to do it. So I let go. Just doing that is giving me that fatigue. So, again, next time I'll probably drop the weight down and just have a full reset and as long as i feel like at least on the first set one to two sets if i'm getting more reps then i have to be getting stronger some way so 
yeah, man. Feeling pretty good right now. Although we aren't getting the same reps. Like I said, I think that was why. So, yeah, we just keep going our hardest. We'll keep getting better, keep getting stronger, and everything should be 100% fine. So, yeah, let's go to set four of the chest press now. Let's just continue going our hardest. All right, set four of chest press. Did move the camera for a little bit, so hopefully you guys do have a more zoomed in look at these sets here. So set four, again, going to failure, hard as we can go. Whew. Set four, here we go. See, that time we got 10, we're dropping one rep each set here. So, like, that is really fast. But, again, I feel like this time I am definitely focusing on more of that form. Because the past few times, I would try and, like, scoot my butt forward. Even the slightest bit would help me get that last little rep out. So, we got 10 that time, I believe. So, yeah, um... The more I do this, the more I think I just need to keep upping, I just need to up the weight. So, because I am getting like less reps than last time, which is really weird, but I, I'm, I'm trying with the same, I'm going with the same intensity, I know that, because I'm going until I physically cannot push that weight anymore. And like, I mean, I'm trying, but it just won't go. So, I either need like deload or something, or it's just because I'm trying, I, I am stronger. It's just on the set, I'm trying harder, and it's fatiguing me more. So, yes, yeah, I've pretty much been talking about the same thing for the past, like, few weeks, and this whole workout, pretty much. So, anyway, let's go to set five. Let's just keep going our hardest. Our chest is still feeling pretty darn good, although the reps do drop. But, um, yeah, let's keep going. Next time, probably 100% up that weight. But, um, we got... I think four sets left of this chest press. Set five, chest press, here we go. All right, set five of chest press now. Like always, don't got much to say. Let's just continue to go our hardest, try our best. So, here we go. Alright, that time we did get 10. This was the first time we actually got the same reps, two sets in a row. But again, on that last one, I do feel like I could have went back farther. So, I'll still just count that as 10 though, but I definitely do feel like we could have brung that a lot farther because I'm trying to lock this out. Not lock it out, but you know, when I let it down, when I the, I'm pretty sure it's the eccentric. When I um, bring it down, I want to like dust the step weight sack to hit the bottom, if you know what I mean, just to make that noise. Because then I know I'm just using that full range of motion, getting my arms all the way back here, pushing all the way forward into, again, that range of motion. So, again, just can't be cheating myself like that because I probably would have gotten nine, to be honest. But. We did get 10, so we'll see what happens these next few reps here. Let's go to set. I believe this is six. Yeah, set six of chest press. So far, so good. So, yeah, let's go. All right, set six of this chest press. Let's keep going, man. Honestly, don't got much to say. So, set 
Yeah, set six to this chest press. Score hardest. Here we go. Nine reps that time. <sighs> Again, like I can definitely probably get a tenth one out if I just you know do a little bit of some um using a little bit of that momentum there. So I'll literally do this so my muscle, my chest gets less engaged and it's more my shoulders because you know if you're like pressing more up, your shoulders are in the movement when you're chest pressing is forward, obviously your chest is doing more of it, so <sighs> just gotta remember not doing that and feel like that did go pretty good. So again, just making sure we're not slouching down like that. Did get nine reps. It actually did kind of feel kinda of easy to be honest. So next time I think we are gonna be able to get nine. Like it didn't feel easy but we got nine out and we couldn't get a ten unless we obviously cheated our motion so we are getting about the same reps as last time but again we're just trying to focus on not breaking our form or anything like that and yeah so that's all right man even though we're getting the same reps we'll eventually we have to eventually like progress otherwise we're gonna have to again deload or something like that but let's go to reps or set seven of the chest press we are almost done so let's go all right set seven of this chest press now almost done almost halfway done with the workout and almost done with the chest press after this we do we only have one more set left so let's keep going trying our hardest set seven here we go Alright, nine reps again there. I did on one of those um, reps right there. I did, I can tell I didn't go down the way because the weight didn't hit the bottom, but it was only one rep. And I still feel like we did get that ninth one out with a little bit of room left, if you know what I mean. Like, you can get the ninth one with a little left in the tank, but then you only have so much left to get that tenth one out. So maybe only half. Again, just definitely need to do some thinking on this still. That's all I got to say. But yeah, I also haven't really had much to say during my workouts, and I feel like that's why my views have maybe been dropping. I don't know if it's because um, we just have nothing to talk about or anything, but we got one other set left of this chest press, man. I will try and just think of some other stuff to talk about but sometimes it's just kind of hard man but anyways we got one more set left of the chest press i do feel like it's gone decent so far i mean it isn't the worst chest workout chest still is feeling pretty nice so let's go to set eight in the last set of the chest press then we'll move on to peck flies all right set eight oh my that's nine man set eight and the last set of the chest press so Halfway done with the workout after this. Last set. Let's make it the best for this chest press. Again, strict form going as hard as you can go. Let's go.
All right. Eight on this last set. Whew. Like you could see there, I was almost getting the ninth one in, but I just could not push it. Like I was trying my hardest, but the weight just wouldn't move, man. So, I mean, that's failure. <sighs> but yeah, don't think I really got much else to say right now. So far, I'd say it's pretty decent. We basically got the same reps as last time. But again, I do feel like this time I was focusing a bit on more of that not move my butt. Because in the past, I can definitely say that I did do that. So, yeah, we're done with chest press now. Let's go on to some pec flies. Again, I'm thinking I will move this up to 90 next time just to manage that fatigue a bit more. I and mean, we might even do some changing around. Maybe we'll just do four sets of this and find something else to do for the other four sets. So, anyway, that's about all I got to say for this. Let's go to the first set of these pec flies. And, again, let's just keep our form strict on those going as hard as we can. So, let's go. All right, set one of these pec flies. Again, we will be, we will be doing four sets of these. Starting off just using 70 pounds. You might just drop down to 60 depending on where reps go, but... Set one of these pec flies. Straight form only. Hard we can go. Here we go. Eight reps that time only. I'm gonna try to do some partials here, but we'll see where this goes. All right. Sort of this mic is like super loud when I'm banging all that. Cause that's another reason why I don't really like wearing this mic. When I'm banging stuff around like this, it's super, super loud. At least compared to when I just use my phone and it kind of does sound muffled sometimes because I am talking like a lot quieter than I normally do because obviously the mic's right here and it's not like five feet away from me which would normally be because I do have a tripod so whew. still I'd say that was uh that was kind of to be honest an iffy rep once again these like bolts on here they're really screwy sometimes like, I'm um, no pun intended, but like, you need to like screw these things on very weirdly. And the right one is a lot easier to push than the left one, so it's kind of funky. But I think we are going to definitely move that down because we did only get eight reps at a time. And this thing is like all screwed up, so just to go lighter will be a lot easier to try and control both of them evenly. So let's go set two of these pet flies, I'm gonna lower it down one notch, and let's. See how it goes. Set two pec flies. All right, set two of these pec flies. I did lower the weight 10 pounds or just one notch, however heavy it is. So I'm going to try and control this a bit better too. So set two of these pec flies. Here we go. Nine reps of time. You can definitely tell that was a lot better. Let's try some partials here. Okay. And we are done. Whew. Definitely does give me a nice, nice pump feeling in my chest there. Especially with those partials. They're just squeezing our chest together, man. Again, this is kind of funky to do um, uh, flies on because my hands are so close in together. Most machines just like way out here and then you'll like, you'll like do this. But obviously this wasn't very, this wasn't built the best. 
because on the machine it does say like do it like this but me personally I find that very uncomfortable but yeah we did get nine reps on this nine pretty clean reps if I would say so myself too so again last time using that 788 that was a bit iffy there so nine reps this time let's go to set three of these um chest flies chest is feeling pretty great so yeah let's go all right set three of these pec flies let's keep going no matter what else we do again just trying to keep that strict form we are getting about the same reps as last time so let's just try hardest and see where this goes so set three here we go Nine reps again. Let's try these partials real quick. Here we go. Oh, and that's about how we're gonna get. Whew. Man, our chest does feel good. Again, we literally have the same reps we got last time on this and pretty much a chest press. Only thing that changes with the chest press is we started, we started with um, 13 reps, then we got 12 two times in a row, and then 11, and then 10. But this time, we started with um, 13. We got 12 once, then 11 two times in a row, instead of 12 two times in a row, then 10. And then I think we got 9, 9, 8. So, if you think about it, pretty much the exact same so far. But, yeah, man. Again, this is like only with chest, I feel like I'm having these problems. So, not really sure, but one more set left of these um, pec flies, and we're going to move on to some incline dumbbell press. So, let's go to set four, last set of this um, pec flies. Here we go. All right, set four of these pec flies, and the last set of these pec flies, and then we're going to be moving on to some incline bench over here. So, Again, let's go hardest, keeping this strict form here. Let's go. Nine reps again there. Whew. Let's try these partials and we're done. All right. Done with these pec flies. Whew. Chest does feel pretty nice and pumped right now, which is always great. Again, I might not have like the best um strength. <laughs> strength flies most of my workouts, but definitely always have a great pump because I'm trying my hardest and I'm bringing that muscle all the way to failure. So, whew. yeah, let's head on to these um incline dumbbell bench now. I'm going to do four sets of those and we are done. So, yeah, let's go to set one of incline dumbbell bench. All right, set one of this incline dumbbell bench. Again, using the same way as last time, these 35s. So, Let's just keep trying our hardest, <clears throat> go as many reps as we can to complete failure. So, set one, incline, double bench, here we go.
Oh, come on. All right. Nine reps, sir. Jeez. Once again, doing these, I feel like I just really... Because sometimes when I am laying back here like this, like, I feel like I won't be able to get another rep out. But I do. And, like, I feel like the weights are wobbling a lot in my hands. But I don't know if that's just because I'm trying so hard to you know, just push that weight up. Because I know you do want to have, like, a certain, like, line or, like, path to your press. You kind of, like, you don't want to press over here, obviously. I don't even know if you can even do that. But you just want to press that straight up and stack all of that weight on your, like, um, arms, obviously. So, again, I don't really want to be cheating myself on that either. But I did get nine reps, same as last time. Let's just keep going our hardest with these. Don't got much to say. Chest still does feel pretty nice. So, let's go to set two of this incline dumbbell bench. All right, set two of incline dumbbell bench now. Again, let's keep going our hardest. We got three sets left, including this one here. So we got this one, then two more. That's what I meant to say. So almost done. Let's keep going. Set two, incline chest, chest press. Here we go. Jeez, I almost flipped over back there. Got eight reps. Once again, I feel like I could have got nine out. As you, I, I know I could have definitely got this left one up. But I just don't know about that right one. Because <laughs> I could tell that left one was getting higher. Like, just lean back in here. I could definitely tell that one was going up. But I don't know if I could get that right one up without, like, hurting myself somehow. The last thing I want to do is hurt myself. I've never really hurt myself for lifting weights, but I don't know, man. They get eight reps at times. So, again, we're getting the literally exact same reps last time. We did get literally one more rep on the um, pec flies. So, I mean, I guess that's some progress. But whew, pretty mid-workout, to be honest. We just got to remember to keep... Um, going our hardest so and eventually we will get stronger and we will start getting bigger again for some reason it's just his chest workouts that i'm just not seeing the progress for some reason so not sure what to really do about it but let's go to set three of these incline dumbbell press and we're almost done all right set three of this incline dumbbell bench again let's just go our hardest like every single set here we go Eight reps again. Ooh. Again, man, don't got much to say right now. Still, our chest is feeling pretty good. great. We do got a nice pump going on here in our arms. So, yeah, everything's good so far. Tomorrow, I don't have school. I don't know if I said that. 
But again, tomorrow is Monday. So today is Sunday. Tomorrow's Monday. I don't have school. So I'm like starting a new semester. So I'm like halfway through the year, I guess. So to be honest, pretty good first semester for me. I had good grades. Everything went pretty well. So anyways, besides that, we got one more set left of this chest press. Chest is feeling nice. Again, we're getting pretty much the same exact reps as the last time. So let's make this last set of incline dumbbell bench the best we can. Let's go. All right, last set of this incline dumbbell bench here. And then we're done with the workout. So again, let's go our hardest. Last set here. Let's get it. Come on. Oh my gosh. So close, man. Just couldn't push that up anymore, man. I pretty much got that left one up, but you know, the right one just didn't have my way. Again, I feel like when I am getting to the last few reps here, like, I obviously want to like keep it like this. But my elbows are like flaring out to the side and doing that just to like they're just trying to press it up more i don't know if i should be doing this to the sides just because it does allow me to get more reps i feel or not so anyways finish with the workout seven reps same exact reps as last time literally you just got one more um rep on the pec flies and that's it Again, I just got to put more time into um, doing some more like research with my own training and getting into that more because I've been really lacking on that lately and trying to modify my training plan because that's stuff I need to be doing if I want to make sure I'm getting results. But I just got to remember to be patient and trust the process because like I don't want to be changing stuff around so often that I never even like adjust to a training plan. So yeah, man. Otherwise, for um, chest press, probably just up the weight to 90 there. Still think I do have form pretty darn nailed down on that. And for pec flies, I think I have my form pretty good on that too. Just got to keep going, keep trying our hardest. And then for these, I just got to remember not to try and like flail out if that's something I don't want to be doing because I don't know if I want to be doing it or not because, you know, that's stuff I need to look into, man. But still got a pretty darn good pump. Chest is feeling nice. So, yeah, let's go to everybody's most favorite part of my workout, the post-workout pump. Let's see how we're looking. All right, guys, post-workout pump. Like I said, we are feeling pretty good, even though obviously it wasn't the best like strength-wise, as this has been for like my past couple chest workouts. I don't know what's going on here, man, but it's been like this for the past, like, it's got to be at least a month now, but... Still do have a pretty nice chest pump. Feeling good. I'm gonna take this off real quick. Take the shirt off so you can't feel looking. Just give me one minute. Oh yeah, we are feeling pretty good. Just feeling nice. I'm just gonna clip my mic down here on my pants real quick. Hopefully you guys will still be able to hear me all right though, but are feeling pretty good looking pretty nice too so yeah feeling absolutely phenomenal chest has got a pretty darn good pump feeling right now again let me know if you guys think i should keep my mic on or i should just leave it with speaking straight to my phone whatever you guys like better and think sounds the best 
just want to keep making quality videos for you guys. So. Yeah, I am still working on posing a bit, for especially for this like front lat pose. I don't know if you're supposed to really do it like this, or you're supposed to bring your hand, hands like up here, do this. Got to make sure to not hit this off my. I'm just move that over here real quick. But I don't know if you're supposed to put your elbows forward like that, or you're supposed to be out to the side. But what we're focusing on right now is the chest, and it is looking pretty good in my opinion. I think personally, my chest is one of my best muscles. Because, I mean, I did start working out by spamming push-ups in my bedroom. Like, who doesn't start out like that? <sighs> so, yeah, that's about all we have today. Quick look at our back. I mean, even though we didn't work it, still nice to just take a look at that. See how our full body is looking. So, yeah, man. Still working on all kinds of different poses. I mean, I know there's all kinds of back poses you can do. I did try doing one right there. Just like doing this with the back. So, always working on that. But yeah, don't got much to say right now. We're looking pretty good. Again, another good workout, another great pump. Just wanted to make sure we are getting stronger on every one of our lifts. And if not, I think we kind of have a problem here. But our chest seems to be feeling nice every single workout. So, I mean, that's all that really matters. Let's try to hit a vacuum real quick to see, again, how long we can go for. So, <sighs> I honestly don't feel like doing these right now. <laughs> Me personally, I just like doing vacuums a lot more off camera because that's whenever the timer's there, I just feel like I'm needed to like beat a record. And I ain't trying to pass out on camera, if you know what I mean, man. So I <sighs> only got like 11 seconds that time, but that's about it for the workout. Again, let me know if you guys want me to keep this mic on down here. I do have it like right down there this today. It's <sighs> a nice chest shot right there, man. But, man, again, let me know if you guys want to me to keep using this mic or not. It's all up to whatever you guys just like more. But, again, if you are your first time watching me, feel free to subscribe. But don't if you don't want to. But I would greatly appreciate it. Just want to keep inspiring other kids my age to um, start working out and getting big. So, sorry this has been a bit longer, but... but I got much else to say. Great workout. Feeling good. Let's keep improving. And yeah, I will see you guys later.